uh, glory to the King of Kings. This uh, wonderful morning, Lord, has made me see this day. I say glory to his kingdom, even for all days. Thank you for being me for our protection. Lord God, even as I talk all the word in this uh, day, uh, Lord, blessed be thy holy name. And uh, on top of this uh, mountain, so Lord, I glorify the creator of heaven and earth, even the Christ. And uh, beside thee, we have no God than thee, than Lord God who lives in Zion. May you be glorified for even the evil. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for being me. Thank you for thy protection. Thank you for thy mercies. Thank you for thy glory. O oh, Lord of heavens, you are king of kings. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, right away today, I'll tackle the word of God in connection by one American scholar, even Dr. William Washington. He's uh, a man who knows uh, uh, scriptures uh, deeply. He understands the word of God. But one uh, thing he misses when uh, he, he comes with this message to the world is that scripture is holy word and it's on, only Christ who can reveal the deep meaning, hidden meaning within the scripture. Why? When we see the book of Psalms chapter 78 verse 2, I'll open my mouth in parable, a latter dark saying of the, of the old, that's uh, Christ. So biblical knowledge or biblical hidden secrets, they are uh, placed or written by Holy Spirit and in a parable. And uh, if you won't ask Christ, you'll never understand the real and deep meaning within the Holy Book of God. Um, a few years ago, Dr. William Washington, he came up with an um, explanation tried to tell us. Before Adam and Eve uh, were created, uh, God of heaven did create um, a, a generation which did precede Adam. And uh, I'm trying to say in this today's message, this is misunderstanding of the scripture. Scripture is a word of God, and it's only Christ who can reveal it to you. You be a man, you can understand these things. He said that God did create a generation. Thus, Adam and Eve were part of the second creation, but there were a generation before. But this is untrue to even people like us, whom Lord Christ has favored us, in understanding of the scriptures of holy God. I glorify you, God, as you use me as thy vessel. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, you are holy, holy God. And uh, beside thee, there will never be God and thee. Thank you for this hour and morning as I tackle the thy scripture. It's this. Uh, Dr. William now, he, he was saying uh, all this evidence starts with the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. What Dr. Washington he does understand about the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, this reveals the Sabbath day. And uh, in other day I'll explain, I'll talk about the Sabbath. In the beginning, we see the first line, first chapter of book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning. Now here is a hidden message. Even many of those who came before us, when scholars, even the languages of Jews, they have never understood this first line, reveals the Sabbath of God in Jehovah. And going down to the still chapter 1 in the book of Genesis, and this uh, starting at uh, verse 26 to, uh, to, to 30, we, we see here God uh, did create them. He created a... Uh, uh, Adam, he, he created, no, no, it doesn't say Adam, he created them, God, he created them in his likeness, where he say, let's create a man in our own image. 
joint father we see and he gives um, uh, the generation or that man uh, the dominion over the over the fishes the beasts and um, the trees of the field and the herbs and their seed and the tree will be thy meat now here Dr. Washington is telling us that after God crea creating this generation, he does not restrict them. That is uh, like a tree, you should not eat, you should not eat that, you should not eat that like a tree of knowledge. And that's why he's saying, when he goes through here in this chapter one, this is another generation. But uh, he should understand, Dr. Uh, William Washington, he misses the point where he does understand. It's the same generation of Adam, but in the book of Genesis chapter 2, uh, uh, it's it just a, a detailed a detail chapter 1, what God does in, 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 in six days, where in the sixth day he did create man. But now he's saying in, in the book of Genesis chapter 2, that when God cre that does create Adam from the dust of the earth, he does take him to a garden of Eden in the east of Eden where he places him. And he, he, he does uh, put a restriction that do not touch <laughs> and the tree which is planted in the midst, even the tree of knowledge, <laughs> um, the tree of evil and knowledge, where we see later. Um, Adam and uh, Eve that succumbed and they did eat this fruit and they were chased away from this garden of God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Christ. Thank you. Dr. William Washington, PhD, he misses to understand. This is the same Adam. There is no any other generation which did precede Adam. And the scripture is a holy word. A word of God. You need to ask the Christ himself to reveal to you these things, but you cannot just come uh, connecting dots and saying uh, there was another generation. And this is a pure uh, guesswork. He claimed nobody taught him these things. Yeah, it's true, because they don't uh, exist. It is only in his mind. Yeah. And that's why people like uh, Dr. Uh, uh, William Washington, we see in the book of Ecclesiastic, King Solomon, even... Um, Chapter 12, verse 12. Uh, be warned, be warned, my son, making of many books, uh, making of many books. It's, it's like a, a nothing someone is telling us. And uh, much study is a weariness of the spirit. Or we can say it's a vanity. That's why when they read a few more books, I see now they get confused. But how? I'll prove this within the scripture itself. So, Dr. William was explaining, chapter 2 is about Adam and Eve. Chapter 1, there is a generation which God did create and uh, he not restricted to, to, don't, not to eat any, any tree or any animal, so they were free to eat anything. And uh, here, Dr. William does understand one thing. We are permitted, even in this today's generation, to eat all, all herbs of the field. Even we have dominion of uh, creeping things, of, of all animals, fish in the sea, and everything, everything, except, now he doesn't understand here, except only within the Garden of Eden, the Holy Garden of God, that's where this tree was. Not this tree of evil, this, this evil tree, it was not planted across the world. It, it, there weren't uh, any species across the globe. It was only located, only at the midst of the garden. Only one tree. So yeah, Dr. William, he fails to understand a simple thing. God permitted the generations of Adam to eat all trees, everything, herbs, outside the garden, but within the garden, it's a limited location. That's what the Lord God is saying. Don't touch the tree which is planted at the midst. So to him now, trying to insinuate, it was um, another generation now being allowed, he fails to understand, is the same generation of Adam, but Garden of Eden is a limited place, holy for God. And this garden of Eden, if, if people like this, they don't understand the scripture, it's where when the Lady Zion, the beautiful city of God, when it descends from the heaven of heavens, even as revealed in the book of, of Revelation by St. John, it will land 
in the same garden of Eden. So you should understand a garden of Eden is a place, is a place. Uh, j just uh, put aside for only saints, for holiness. And the tree was here, but outside the garden, now, outside the garden, eh, we can say Americas, Europe, all Africa, Australia, islands, the sea. You can eat all trees there, they are meat for you, all herbs. These, they belong to you. <laughs>